All right, man, Torture Talk, 12 o'clock show. You know what it is, man. Back at it. Back at it, whipping the craftmatic. Hey, man, put this thing over my forehead. My forehead big as shit. All right, look, man. Um, So, today we're going to be talking about something that Snoop Dogg said on Drink Champs, him and Dr. Dre, about the Super Bowl and uh, Jay-Z and all that good stuff. So... Before I get into that, you know I got to get my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, single, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, leave a donation, man, if you want to. It's right here. Links is on the screen. Cash App, PayPal is in the description. They called me to hit a gym. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And um, yeah, a million by Monday morning. Let me know where you're from, too. I really appreciate it. Thank y'all for being here with me. I know y'all could be somewhere else, but you're here with me at 12 o'clock. So, so look, man, we're going to get into this clip. Uh, and yeah, we'll be back to discuss. Yeah, man. So let's get it, man. <laughs> let's go. Right now, that everyone thinks that whenever the Super Bowl takes place, that artist that's there is, a, is supposed no, to... No, what, what we need to think about is that before Jay-Z got control of the Super Bowl, what no was performing. So let's go back to the essence of the beginning of... Preach. He's creating a wave of artists to have an opportunity to perform. Right. If you're a good artist and you're a great artist, your time will come. Right. Like, I was never crying about it or mad about it. When Dr. Gray called me and asked me to get his back, I was there for him. But I didn't feel like I was supposed to be there. I was, you know, in demand to be there. This is a big event. Mm. People looking at everything when they pick so that the person to perform. You should just be honored that, you know, hip hop is being able to be seen on that platform for all of us and not hate on the next one. Yeah. 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 I remember um, we had you on the show after the Super Bowl and you spoke about uh, game. And, and did, was there anybody that you felt like you left on stage or? You was good with it? No, I was good. It was perfect. <laughs> it's, it's this big thing that's going on. Yeah, man, you heard it from the horse's mouth. So let's get into this, man, because I got a lot to say. Uh, yeah, so let's get into this. Yeah, man. I couldn't stop the video because uh, <clears throat> for some reason it would uh, reset. So... I just had to uh, let it play all the way through. <clears throat> but um, Snoop is actually absolutely right, man. And it's no disrespect to Wayne. There's no disrespect to uh, anybody out there. But y'all got to let this go. You know what I'm saying? I think what Snoop said is absolutely right. Jay-Z get a lot of, he get a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of ish for him, uh, taking up that role in the, in the NFL. But you got to ask yourself, I mean, what what when he said that, okay, we did the kneeling, but what's next? You got to respect that. Because even if people saying he's using it to make money, whatever, I, they, they, these artists don't get paid for the Super Bowl performance. They don't. And I don't know if y'all going to say, well, he gets paid, whatever. The opportunity... The whole Super Bowl has been taken over by hip hop. For years, the Super Bowl been ran by country and pop. Never really seen a hip hop artist up there. I believe the first artist that he uh, that took the Super Bowl, I believe it was uh, the weekend. I believe it was the weekend was the first one to do the solo act of the Super Bowl. Who was before the weekend that Jay put on? Could have been, It could have been Beyonce, somebody, Shakira and somebody. I'm not sure. But <clears throat> I know that he put on the weekend. He put on um, Dr. Dre and Snoop. He put on Usher, Rihanna, like, and now Kendrick. It's like... A lot of y'all just not satisfied for whatever people do. And it, and to me, it just, it, it just, it, it, it's very troubling to see because 
you got a man, whether you want to say he's using this for his own personal gain. Everybody looks at that part, but they don't look at the part of him actually putting hip hop artists on the Super Bowl stage. It's like everybody wants to say things about Jay-Z and how they think he should move as an as an, uh, a, a, a mogul, but you don't want to acknowledge all the things that he has done for people and put them in positions to where they're literally bigger than what they were. And he didn't ask for anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I see some podcasters saying Jay-Z, he wants the clout. And it's like, your whole argument is Jay-Z want the clout and you're not speaking on the artist that he actually put on and these guys actually got to a certain level of superstardom. The Super Bowl is the biggest platform for advertisement. And for Jay-Z to constantly put hip-hop acts or hip-hop-ish acts at the Super Bowl and y'all complaining is so disgusting. That's nasty for you to complain about Jay-Z when he is literally putting people on to and putting them at the next level. I don't care if you think that Wayne should have done the Super Bowl. I don't care. I don't care if you think he should have done the Super Bowl because it's in Louisiana. I don't care. It does not matter. What matters is he's putting people on. So even if it has to be a sacrifice for Wayne has to be kind of like sacrifice, even though I don't think he was, but if it has to be a little sacrifice like that for it to be something monumental, because let's be clear here. Kendrick performance is going to be bananas. It's going to be way better than what Wayne could ever do. I honestly don't think that Wayne would even had, I think he would have just came out. He just like he did at the Louisiana thing, which was terrible, by the way. I think he would have came out and said some things and did some yelling and scared, yeah, 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 like that. He wouldn't have had nothing that's going to be groundbreaking. I think what Kendrick is going to do is going to be so groundbreaking that this might be borderline one of the best Super Bowl performances of all time. I'm telling y'all now, I said to y'all before, when he battled Drake, I said he's going to destroy Drake. He's going to smoke Drake. And what happened? Where's Drake at now? I told y'all, and I'm, I'm mark my words, I'm telling y'all again. When the Super Bowl hit, understand that this is going to be monumental. This is going to be something that we never seen before. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure they cooking it up right now. He ain't been saying nothing. So he's doing something. But Snoop is absolutely right. He's absolutely right. You got to understand, man. You gotta, when, when you got somebody that's put in this position, like Jay-Z, you got to be responsible with the position you hold. And they just signed him again. So he's going to be there for a, a little while longer doing more. Y'all should be proud of that. And what Snoop said was right. I don't understand how y'all not proud that hip-hop is being recognized on the Super Bowl. I don't get it. I don't see how y'all just like, a lot of y'all, y'all getting y'all feelings and y'all get so attached to these personal and these political views of people. Like, oh, he shouldn't have did that because I feel like he he did this person wrong. It's like, I'll be honest with y'all. I don't care about what Kaepernick was doing after I found out what he did with Nike. All the stuff that he he preached to me, I don't care about it no more. You know what I'm saying? I care about I care about police brutality. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying coming out of his mouth. You know what I'm saying? Coming out of Kaepernick's mouth. I don't care about what he says because he literally is doing exactly what y'all saying Jay-Z did. He literally used, he 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 race hustled. He used that that um plight or whatever, the kneeling thing, he got some things across, and then the NFL paid him off, and then he got paid off by uh, by other uh, other corporations. 
So all of this, all of this Jay-Z hate, I'm not trying to hear it. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't like Jay-Z 100% all the way around the board. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying all of y'all hating on Jay-Z for taking that issue because he said, and I watched it, he said it. He said, we was kneeling. Okay, but what now? So he took that and he made it to where hip hop acts now, instead of kneeling, because y'all don't understand this, instead of kneeling, now you can see hip hop acts actually, which I believe Kendrick is going to do, is going to display it even more. So it goes from being a symbol of, of kneeling to being a symbol of someone actually performing something that y'all can physically see instead of someone just kneeling and then taking money later on by, down the line. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I, that's all I wanted to say on that. But Snoop's absolutely right. And I don't care. It's not Wayne's time. I don't care if, if they're in Louisiana. I don't care. It's not his time. He can't do what Kendrick does. Let's be clear here. Wayne is one of the greatest of all times, but he cannot do what Kendrick does. He could, he would not put on a good show. He won't. Y'all could get mad all y'all want. I don't care. He will not put on a good show. Not at all. And that's just the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so. <laughs> all right, look. Thank y'all for being here with me. 12 o'clock show over. See y'all, man. I'm out of here. Yeah, 6 o'clock show coming.